Hey, how y'all doing tonight? Man, oh man. Good little night here tonight. I'm gonna do a good dinner for y'all. Actually, not just for y'all. I've got a, a guest here at the house. A uh, worldly traveler of sorts. Got a guy here who's been all over the world traveling the country, trying to taste some really good food from different areas in the country and everything else. Guy by the name of Antonio Bourbon. Let me uh, introduce you here. This is Antonio right here. Little Chef Antonio Bourbon. He has been making his way across YouTube with his different YouTube home cooks and chefs, trying to sample different dishes from different regions and different channels, and he moves on to somewhere else. Well, anyway, He's landed here on my doorstep, and I'm uh, trying to get a little request for him I got here. It says, Antonio Bourdon, Bourbon has come to Mississippi. He's come to Southern Coastal Cooking, my YouTube channel here, to try some of my cooking I've done on the salt blocks. Okay, that guy wants to... Wants to have a little taste of the salt, I see. Maybe some of that beautiful pieces of beef that he wants to try that I cook up. He's seen me cook so many of them, I know. So, I think I'll entertain him tonight. We'll do some beautiful steaks, some prime fillets, cook them on those salt blocks out there from Posh Salt. And we'll see how old Antonio Bourbon likes Southern Coastal Cooking, y'all. So y'all stick with me as I try to entertain Mr. Bobon. And we have a wonderful dinner here at Southern Coastal Cooking, y'all. First off, y'all, I've got three USDA Prime fillets here from my local meat market. And I think these are going to be really good. Hopefully, these will uh, do for Mr. Bobon. And uh, we will let these sit here and rest on the counter. Meanwhile, I've got one of my uh, balsamic red wine reductions going over here. Just reducing, reducing, reducing. And we'll get that going. That'll be for later. Got some fresh vegetables over here. Mississippi grown. Some squash. Of course, the onions are from here. And the sweet corn's from here. So we'll be uh, dealing with those here later out here on the grill. Well, as far as seasoning these steaks tonight... Uh, the good people at Low Bells have sent me some of their steak or beef rub. Actually, it's a rub. You can go on beef pork or whatever. Some of their dry rub. So I was thinking about, yeah, I don't put much on my steak, especially these USDA product. And if you've ever heard of Low Bells, they carry the very best steaks one can get. I put a link to Low Bells, uh, their website. Oh, Mr. Bourbon, you don't have to stand over here. Man having trouble standing up. Probably had too many pops here tonight, so we'll let him just chill out over there. I have to lean up against the bezels. There you go. So anyway, a little bit of oil on, on the steaks here. And uh, I'm going to take some of this dry rub here. I can open it up. There we go. And uh, I'll shake a little bit there on the steak. Just a little bit. It's, you know, these, these wonderful USDA Prime steaks. And man, I wish it was some low bells because their Prime is super, super. I mean, you can see all the wonderful marbleization and everything in there. But I didn't have a chance to get some of them for tonight. Uh, Mr. Bourbon came by and just uh, really kind of surprised me here. So that's fine. That's totally fine, but I'm going to get these steaks seasoned up with a little bit of this Low Bell's beef rub. I think that'll, that'll add a, just a wonderful little bit of flavor, just a kiss of flavor on the outside of them, right? Alright, so we've moved out here to the grill. And that's what we're doing. We're heating it up. I'm about to put some corn on here to start cooking. Maybe some potatoes. And man, we'll get those steaks on here in just a little bit. Make sure everything's all right with you, Mr. Bobon. Oh, yeah. 
Petroleum sure we got we got some little gold, Yukon gold, small potatoes. I got some butter here, I got some garlic toast, and a little bit of the Bezel seasoning. I'll show you about that here in just a second. We're gonna set this on the Traeger right here and let this one get started. This is gonna be one of our sides to go with our steak. You like them potatoes? Sure you like them potatoes. Alright, 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 all right. I'll cook squash. I said he wants some squash too, so we'll have to cook some. Mr. Barbal, Mr. Barbal, you're supposed to be watching the grill. What you doing out here? Look at this. Let's see what's going on over here. Man over there drinking pops. We need watching the grill. Oh yeah, look at those potatoes. Yes, sir. Nice sizzling. Shorts. Meanwhile, I got Mr. Bobo. It's fine. Mr. Bobo, just enjoy yourself. You're the house guest. Don't worry about it. In fact, I may add a little bit more liquid to the potatoes. Put the beer in there. That way, uh, that way it has something there just to kind of steam in. Okay, now we have these potatoes cooking for a while. I got some Mississippi sweet corn on, in the husk. I've soaked it in water for a little bit just so it will scorch. And I'm going to put this in here too, y'all. Put this stuff starting to go. Stir these potatoes once again. that up let it go for another about 20 minutes all right mr. Bourbon says we all flip the corn so okay we'll do that we'll sit right back down there and uh, go ahead and get the corn flip just for good measure all right stir the potatoes just for a second oh look at that yes sir Bottom of them start to get kind of a. Yes, sir, that's good right there. And that's what we're we'll going to we'll close this back up. Alright, y'all, now I'm going to get the uh, squash and zucchini ready. I got some fresh cut summer squash and zucchini right here. I'm going to put this in my pressure cooker XL. I got some right down there. And I'm going to put. Some of my favorite Cajun seasoning, this could be Zell's here. We'll put some of this on it. I think it, uh, Mr. Bourbon will love that. We'll uh, put that down there. Then I'll get some, uh, some of this good butter spray here. Some of this stuff, you know. And yeah, we'll spray that. A little bit. Maybe some cracked black pepper. Crack that up in there. Then we'll go with another layer of everything. Okay. Like that, a little more of the bezel. A little more of the cracked black. A little bit more of this pepper. And that pepper, a little bit more of the uh, parquet spray. I say last, a little bit there. Spray it down, a little bit of that on there, just like that. A little bit of pepper. And we'll put this in the steamer here shortly. That'll be real good, y'all. It's going to be some nice, fresh, good, healthy vegetables for us, what all is. Put some liquid in all this, and we'll add a cup of chicken uh, broth there. That's going to help steam and everything like that in the pressure cooker.
I'm going to give these one more flip here. Just hold it up. Matthew. Antonio. Mr. Bobon. Watch this balance here. Flip these again. I'm going to get these uh, potato stir. Looking good, y'all. Looking real nice. I'm going to get inside. And I'll show you how we'll start to squash here in a minute. Get those taters going like that. And also, I've got a fire chimney over here. I don't know if y'all can see it starting up, and that's what we'll use later on to get a real good sear on these steaks. All right, with you now. So now I'm gonna start the vegetables. I'm gonna put them down here in, into the pressure cooker. Put the lid on. I uh, got my valve shut. We'll put this dude on. Vegetables. Where's vegetables? Vegetables. Alright, let it heat up and go from there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put these cornwards over here. Nice taters. I've got to make room for the salt pot. Make that over there. Actually, I may switch all this over to the other side, actually, just for a because the heat comes from this side. Got that moved over and we'll make room for the salt block. Turn this thing on high now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put the salt block on here. Let it preheat some more. It's been preheated to 550 degrees. Let that oh, we're getting ready to put the steaks on now, y'all. Mr. Bobon, I hope this satisfies you. So what we'll do, we'll open this up and get the glove on first. Oh yeah. Flip the salt over to the hot side. Finger on it there. Right now. Put that over like so. Sweep in the dust off of there. Ooh. Get a beautiful prime fillets here. Just set these dudes up almost there. This one will do the largest one. I don't want to do this while I'm looking for the pro over here. Let's go ahead and just let these rock and roll for right now for a few minutes. Hey, looking good. Alright, it's been a few minutes on that side. We're going to give it a big stir here as far as the taters go. Look at that. Look at that beautiful golden brown. It's going to get from the side of those taters. I'm going to talk about the seed right there. Look at those corners. right there. Yes, sir. Mr. Bobon will be proud. Are we going to turn the blades on the side? Now, a little, a little real mark there on that. A little on the side. Stir. Hey, wonderful. 
Chimney here with just a little grill right on it. I'll show you how to handle this. I'll do is take one of the stakes right here, just set it there just for a minute, and that's going to give a super hot sear. Take another one here, same thing. And just let it get a really, really hot sear just on each side before we just take them off here. Just go about you know maybe a minute there on that one side and we'll flip them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flip these guys. See that there? Got that nice hot sear. That side right there. One. I'm gonna go about a minute on this side. And we'll take them and we'll put them over there on the full with a little bit of butter, a little bit of herbs. Everything like that and just get them wonderful, real nice, y'all. Let's see what it looks like here. Get a little bit of wine, just make sure we get it in there cooked. I'm going to go ahead and pull them now, y'all. We got here, I got some butter and some herbs. It's full. Take this into the house here. Fill these steaks up, everything melted real good like that. Carry these inside and let them rest for about 15 minutes, just like this, y'all. What you think? Oh, yeah, he's ready. He is ready. Oh, yes. All right, y'all. Oh, yeah. Mr. Bobon, we're going to give this steak a try. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm, we can stand up over here. I'll lean them up over here against the show you caddy. It'll be alright over there. Now, cut into this prime fillet here. Yes, sir. Let's see how it's cooked with uh, Mr. Tom Jones sent me these steak knives. Real good here. Look at that. With that uh, red wine reduction. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That is nice. Mm. Perfect little medium rare on that steak. That that is something else. Potatoes. There's some candy potatoes there with the garlic. Corn zucchini. And I hope you enjoyed this, Mr. Barbon, who's going to send you on your way from Southern Coast to Cooking. Thank you for coming and visiting us for a meal and send you on down the line for your travels. Thank y'all. Please come see my channel, Southern Coastal Cooking, on YouTube. Uh, give me a sub and like my videos. Thank y'all very much.